Hey, my name is Lauren and I have decided to start a YouTube channel mainly so I can document my experience throughout nursing school, but also hopefully I can help y'all along the way if y'all have any questions. I'd love to give my spin on it. Um, today I'm going to actually just go through my study plan. Um, maybe one day I'll want to go back to school and I'll be like, hmm, like what was successful for me back then? So basically finals are coming up way quicker than we realize. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna put all the assignments on a piece of paper that I have left to do um, for the semester. And then I'll go in and I will look through my planner and I'll say, what days do I have stuff? So if I, like Easter, I'm not going to schedule anything for Easter, or if I do, I'm going to schedule like one class to study for. Like I'm not going to do something like a, a packed day full of studying because that just doesn't make sense because I'm going to spend that day with my family because that's important to me. So um, I'll do that and then I'll go and I'll take post-its and each class has a color. Um, I signed that at the beginning of the semester and yes, it is in rainbow. <laughs> So I have sticky notes that match that I use that with. So I'll go in and I'll put each date that I want to study for an exam. So like one of my classes, I don't have to study for as much as I do other classes. So I'm not going to study for those every single day. I may study every other day or every couple of days, whereas other classes I'm going to I'm going to study every single day. So this is what I ended up writing down for the rest of my assignments for the semester. There are definitely some more things that are going to get into that. This is like the main chunk of things. So now I have created sticky notes. Each one corresponds with the color for each class. And then I'm going to sit down right here next to my planner. And, you know, many things have been canceled. I was supposed to have my first clinical last week. Um, second one this week on my birthday, but that's not going to happen. Um, but, you know, I think I'm going to start studying this day so I can enjoy my birthday with my family. Um, if we wanted to do anything on, on Saturday, just spend some time together and then really hit the books on Sunday throughout the rest of the semester. So I've got two finals on April the 22nd, one final on April the 30th, and then I've got my last final on May the 4th. So um, now I'm going to sit down and I'm going to write out which days I want to study for which exam. There's no sense in studying for dosage on this day when I only have that final left. So I'll show you how I do that too. that I want to study each subject.
like to do now is I like to take copy paper and I write each um, class that I have on it with Sharpie and I just make it look really cute. And I write out each of the days that I put out on these sticky notes and I'll write them out and then I'll go in with a pen, even like a Sharpie pen, something like that. And I'll write in what I'm going to study what day. So for dosage, we had seven different modules. So if I've got seven days on here, I may do, you know, one module per day. Or I may do two modules per day and then towards the end, just review what which ones I struggle with the most. So stuff like that is what I do. That way I can cover all of the material, but I'm still able to like, you know, if, if I'm good in it, I don't have to hit it that hard. But something that is very important in my opinion is scheduling days to take breaks. So something that I really struggle with is some days I'll be like, I don't want to do anything. But if I can say, okay, sit here, give me two productive hours and then you're good to go. So if I have something really important, I can just push that back to one of those makeup days. If on the makeup day I'm feeling super productive and I want to go ahead and do something, that I can push things forward. That way, if there's a day down the road where I'm not feeling good or something happens and I can't be home, then I can make that stuff up then. So I don't want to plan out one module per day and only do it a week in advance and then have two days where I have to go out of town and it's like an emergency and I don't get to get my stuff like then that puts you two days behind. So if if at all costs, just or if at all possible, try to schedule in days that you can take breaks for yourself. It's not healthy to cram everything in every single day because there's so much information that I've learned this semester and a lot of it should be a review because I should have already learned it. So I shouldn't be sitting here for hours upon hours upon hours studying for all of my classes. class that I don't have to study for as much because I'm better at math. It's always been one of my strong fields. So I just put that I'm going to cover um, two modules a day and then I'm going to go through and um, do half and half and then I scheduled myself a catch-up day and then two days to review prior to our final exam. And I have to remind myself that I've got a lot of stuff going on this, these days so I don't need to pack it in so if there's something that I really don't understand I need to focus on that and I don't need to focus so much on making sure that I do every single little detail because that stuff will come back to me because I did spend time and learn it previously. So after a lot of hard work and time I'm now done with my study plans so this is just what they look like. I went through and wrote down each chapter that I'm going to do each day. Some of them have way more than others, but I've got more time and more information for each of them. So I hope that this can help you out. And um, if there's anything that you specifically want to see, just let me know and I'll try to let you know my spin on it. Thanks for watching y'all. Don't forget to like and subscribe and let me know what kind of videos you'd like to see.